Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. It is 515, time for your dog walking forecast, and we start the week with, is it Leah, Leia? Princess Leia. Yeah. Adam. She's got kind of that of Princess She's Leia so, so double bun thing working. Maybe so, yeah. yeah. Star Wars-ish. I can't, I think she's a shepherd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, you know, either that or a Belgian Malinois, but both two of my favorites. Pretty girl. Yeah. Absolute stunner. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> I'd like to meet Leia in person, <laughs> you know? Well, we'll see if we can arrange that for you. <laughs> Maybe, you know, I, I'm a sucker for uh, shepherds here, you know? So we got a great little face there to start off our Monday morning. But Alex, Scott, right now we are tracking some pretty quiet conditions. Dog walking forecast this morning, probably better than what it'll be later on today. As you know, in the past few days, once the sun comes up, we start getting those showers and storms and they kind of stick around. Well, that's going to be the trend today. Morning time, probably the best opportunity to go out, though you're still going to deal with some wet paw prints and even some muddy patches out there too. This afternoon, though, we're looking at those shower and storm chances on the rise. In fact, here's a look at how fast those rain chances ramp up. Sure, an isolated shower possible here this morning, but you see there, midday, 60% chance of rain, and those rain chances stay high here into the evening hours. So really going to pick up those rain chances, and then uh, later on into the evening hours, things should begin to settle down. Now, likely we will still see some rain linger overnight. Radar, though, showing some pretty quiet conditions. We've had a few light showers out towards Morgan City. Those have since kind of faded away, so not really going to be tracking a whole lot here. Downtown right now looking pretty sticky with that high humidity, some clouds streaming on in. But look at our future cast, picking up on some rain chances here beginning later on in the morning time. And I think probably around 9 o'clock we'll start to see some of those showers and storms down around the coast. And then as the day goes on, spreading northward towards the I-10 corridor. Now, if this model is exactly correct, which it's likely not going to be, but it probably has a good idea of what's going to happen here, we'll stay kind of clouded over. Very similar to yesterday, which means that our temperatures won't rise a whole lot into the afternoon. And there you can see going into this evening, a few of those showers and rumbles of thunder lingering. So temperatures right now, 70s across the area. We're not seeing any 80s, but this afternoon will be near the 90 degree mark. Again, it's going to depend on when that rain arrives, who sees the rain. You know, that's all the question mark there to how warm you get. But I generally think mid to upper 80s. Then later on tonight, we're looking at 70s. Now, there will be some leftover showers and storms that linger, especially down around the coast. Tomorrow, though, look for those high temperatures to reach the upper 80s before some showers and storms return to the area. And at times, they could be pretty heavy. Going forward, we are going to have to keep a close watch on that flood threat. We've already seen quite a bit of rain out there across the area. And with more of these days of heavier showers and storms, especially towards Tuesday and Wednesday, that flood threat will be a concern for us. And then even into the end of the week, high rain chances. But by the weekend, we should start to see them relaxing. Not a whole lot, but at least a fewer showers and storms than we have around right now. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, I need a, need a little break. I've got a backyard that's starting to go <laughs> like that. It's either you got the grass that's just grown out of control or it's just one big mud puddle. And what about Alex's sod? I mean, come on. It's, That's what I mean. It needs grass. cut. It sad needs sod. cut. Sad sod. Sad sod. Sad sod. Well, at least it's alive. But anywho, thank you, Adam. <laughs> we will uh, see you in a bit for more.